Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about this lovely, beautiful dress that I made. But before we get into that, if you like sewing videos, fabric hauls, um, what I've been making, what I plan on making, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell to be notified when I have another video. Um, and without further ado, let's get started. about this but we're gonna talk about this dress briefly um, it's obviously a velvet dress so today we're gonna talk about sewing with velvet um, I oh my gosh I bought this velvet fabric probably about a year and a half ago I think um, and it is silk velvet it's 100% silk it's from the fabric store online in New Zealand um, and it is absolutely beautiful I struggled between um, a couple of different patterns for this fabric. I've had this fabric in my closet for a really long time because I was kind of like afraid to use it. I couldn't commit to, you know, the fat, the pattern that I wanted. Um, but I finally, I was thinking the Tamsin dress by By Hand London. That was my first choice. Um, and I was set on that for a while because I do have that pattern. But I also have the Closet Core Patterns LOD pattern. And I ended up choosing that one because I felt as though the um, fabric was like so dark that you wouldn't be able to see all of the beautiful pleats that are in the Tamsin dress. Um, and so I decided to go with a more simple, elegant line. Um, or lines and make a just simple wrap dress and I absolutely love it it's um, very easy construction um, the uh, left side has like a little um, you know tie here that connects and goes through passes through a hole that you leave on the right side and then the right wrap air part has another tie and you end up tying those two together in on the left side so um i guess we can get started with sizing so closet core patterns i have struggled to fit um, or find the right fit in the past. I've made the Carolyn pajamas and I, my measurements really put me like between a four and a six. So I've made the four, but I felt as if like the top was a little bit too snug. Um, and the bottom was a little snug as well. And so now I've moved to making size six if it's a bottom and size like four, but like a little bit towards six, like I graded out a little bit in the areas that I need um, on the top. But for the dress, I wanted to pick one size um, just because I felt like I didn't really know what the bust area was going to do with the bigger size. I really looked, looking, assuming that I would be a B cup, which I'm not, I'm an A cup. Um, I really fit the measurements more of a six and I felt like the pajamas um, were a little bit tight on my shoulders and so I think I just was like I need that extra shoulder width and so I'm going to go with the six um, and then I was like worried about the bust area and looking at this pattern there was no clear way to me to um do like a small bust adjustment um so i there's no darts or anything um pretty much when it comes to a wrap dress the problem i have is that there's just too much fabric like it's too much length um for my bust area because i don't fill it out and so i looked at the dress pattern and i was like okay if there's too much length um 
I really feel like that's fine because my torso is a little bit longer and it might help the actual dress sit more on my actual waist versus being like right above it because sometimes it ends up on my ribs because my torso is longer. So I thought to myself, okay, I think the length issue is going to be okay. Um, width issue I didn't think would be a big deal because I really like the larger look to the dress and like the fact that it's really relaxed and it's not like super fitted and like being oversized on the side is would have been fine to me it would kind of give it like a blousy effect um, and I still have the waist that I can tie in like super tight so um, that's why I decided on a six and that's why I didn't start with like a four and like grayed out or anything like that because my waist and my hips are definitely a size six uh, but I kept the size six on the top just because I think the bust um, width for that or the bust measurement is a 34 mine is a 33 but if I was a B cup it would be a 34 so I did just based on what my high bust is so I just decided I think from now on I'm just gonna make a size six and it turned out really well the wrap actually crosses very well it doesn't really bust open very much um, the facing facings kind of irritate me so I almost had a little bit of trouble with the facing but it has a seam right here in the back um, and that you can sew this the facing down there and at the shoulder seams so I felt like it was like enough to kind of keep it at bay although while I was out like this one would try to kind of escape a little bit so if you like shove it in and turn it back over um, under then it pretty much stays you just have to like keep an eye on it so I guess if you didn't like that you could just hand stitch it you know lightly um and then the length was good um i let it hang on the hanger because i don't have a good dress form right now um for about a day because that's all i had because i was making it for a an anniversary date so i let it hang for about a day and then i put it on had my husband take a meter stick and pick the same measurement all the way around and put pins on my dress like all the way around at that measurement making sure I wasn't slouching or turning or looking like um and, and we and so I cut the dress right underneath the pins and then I hem it up and then I picked the measurement that I picked was the part of the dress that was the highest um, I used that as like my baseline and then I made the rest of it match um, and the length is great so I really didn't have problems with that um, now to get in sewing with velvet okay so I have a lot more in my blog and I also talk about all these fit issues um, as well in there um, but I will just briefly mention the main like four things that you need to keep in mind when you're sewing with velvet is cutting out the fabric if it's very slidey you're gonna want to put like some tissue paper or maybe like a jersey that's kind of sticky like in between the fabric layers or some kind of muslin or something um, if you're folding the fabric in half or if you just want to put it underneath a single layer um, it can help keep the fabric from sliding around I did not do that for this because it wasn't that slidey um, and since it was a wrap dress, I was like, oh, it's going to be all on the bias and hanging weird anyway. So I just like was more relaxed with it. But that's a number one tip. Um, number two, when you are getting ready to sew, think about what needle you have. I used a sharp needle, an 8012 sharp. Make sure you're using a needle that is a good size for the fabric and that it, I believe sharp is better like because it can penetrate the fabric a little bit better and it doesn't leave like this blunt hole. Um, so I use that. Um, also, when you're stitching, make sure you lo use lots of pins or Otis 505 uh, fabric adhesive, like temporary adhesive spray or whatever you want to use you can put tissue paper on top tissue paper on the bottom sometimes when you are sewing the presser foot or the feed dogs um can damage your fabric or appear to damage your fabric so you're if you're sewing actually on the velvet and it's not like right sides together 
um, and it's going to be seen on the dress. You can sometimes put like some tissue paper, like pin some tissue paper to the seam. Um, you could on the top and the bottom or in the middle or wherever you want. Um, and clips can also work too um, if you don't want to pierce your fabric. Um, so I put some more of that in the blog. And the last thing is be careful with ironing and pressing. Um, use a press cloth, um, put a towel down so the pile doesn't get damaged. All of this is on my blog. Um, but just be careful, test it out, see what works, see what doesn't um, before you actually press your actual garment. Velvet can burn very easily and then just like messes up the pile and just like flattens it and makes it look weird. So you have to kind of be careful with that. I, you know, I had several issues with that, but I didn't worry about it too much because it really wasn't that noticeable. Um, and I was trying to make this very quickly. So all the things I just told you, I pretty much didn't do, but it was very frustrating because velvet slides a lot and I would have made my life easier if I probably would have incorporated a few of these things. I did use a correct needle, but other than that, <laughs> I just flew by the seat of my pants. So do as I say, not as I do, okay? <laughs> It was a big headache to sew this dress, but I'm so glad it's done. It's beautiful, and that's pretty much it. And I hope you guys have a fabulous day and week, and that's it. Let me know if you have any questions down below. As always, hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell if you want to be notified when I have more videos, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.